Welcome to D-Design Graphics. Today in my Illustrator tutorial. I am going to teach you how to create a pattern. Repeating several objects around a circle, like this. First of all, I will select the ellipse tool. That lies inside the rectangle tool here. As you can see, many tools in this toolbar have a small triangle. It means that there are more tools hidden inside that tool. To get the hidden tools, all you have to do is click and hold on. Now that I have selected the ellipse tool, while pressing the shift key, I can draw a circle. Look what happens without pressing the shift key. Without pressing shift key, I cannot draw a perfect circle. Now, select the circle and I will remove the fill color of the circle from here. Okay. Next, I will click and hold onto this tool again and select this polygon tool. Now, when you click like this, the polygon window will open. Here you can specify how many sides you need for your polygon. Because I want a triangle, I'm going to input 3 where the sides are. No need to worry about radius, because later we can scale it the way we want. After that, press OK. Now, we have the triangle. Now, I want to color the triangle. Like this magenta color. And remove the stroke color. You can change the stroke and fill color, from this panel, or this panel. Now again, I'm going to select the ellipse tool. By pressing Ctrl plus, I can zoom into this triangle. If you are using a Mac, press Command plus. Okay, now can you see this pink guide line in the middle? We call it Smart Guide. To enable Smart Guides, go to View, and select Smart Guides. Only when Smart Guides are enabled, you can see these pink guidelines. Now, at the center of this triangle, I'm going to draw a small circle. The circle is smaller the better. Press Ctrl plus to zoom. Fill the circle with black color. Now, I will place the circle under the baseline of the triangle, with aligning to the center of the triangle, with the help of smart guides. Now group both the triangle and the circle, by pressing Ctrl G. Or you can go to Object, and select Group. Now select the grouped object, and go to Effect, Distort and Transform. Click Transform. Then the Transform Effect window will open. You don't have to change anything in Scale or Move Sliders. What important to us is, this Rotate option, and this Copies option. Also notice this little icon. From this icon, we can choose how we want our object's rotation to be. The icon is like this square. It represents these points of the square. So I can tell the illustrator to rotate around this point, or this point, or this point. We can click these little squares, to choose the point of rotation. Because I'm going to give the rotation, from this base point of the circle. I can click this center point here. Let's assume that we want 15 copies. So I will type 15 here. Now, here we should type the angle, from which our copies to be apart. Don't be afraid about the math. Illustrator can do the math for us. Now, circle is 360 degrees, and we have 15 copies. So, type here 360 divided by 15. Press the tab key to assign the results. Now our 15 copies should be placed around, from 24 degrees apart. But nothing happens here. We need to click the preview button for results to appear. Now, you can see, the 15 triangles repeated around this circle. I think 15 is too much. So I will type 10 here. Now again, type 360 divided by 10. And press tab key. Okay. Now that we have one triangle here, the one we started with, we don't need 10 copies. We only need 9 copies. So I type 9 here, and press okay. Zoom out, 
by pressing Ctrl minus. By pressing spacebar and dragging, we can move the artboard. Now that I want these triangles to be around this circle, I drag this triangle to here. I can spot the center because smart guides are enabled. And place the triangle here at the center. After that, I will select this triangle by double click on it and drag up by pressing shift key and place it. See that? This is where you can make the pattern more beautiful. Let's see how to get the stars and the squares, I show you at the beginning of this video. I will select here. And, select the star tool. Now you need to look for the exact center. Otherwise, if you move to change the center, everything in the design will also change. Now, again I select the star tool, and here in the center line, I will draw a star. See? It's very easy. Now I will select the rectangle tool. Here, we want to draw the rectangle from the middle. So I press the shift and alt key, while drawing the rectangle. Here you can do some adjustments. Select the direct selection tool, and change the shape of these triangles. Also the stars, and the rectangles. Also you can change the colors of these triangles, stars and rectangles. Now I double click the artboard to deselect. Now, let's think that we want to change the number of copies, of these objects. How do we do that? Here we have the appearance panel. If you don't see the appearance panel here, go to window, click the appearance. In appearance panel, here we have transform. By clicking it, you can again open the transform effect window. And you can change the number of copies you want.